Hello and welcome to the introduction to our video tutorial as part of the I Quit course. Um, today we're going to talk about a couple of basic R concepts and introduce a bit of functionality in R Studio, which is the program that's open here. Uh, first of all, R is an object-oriented programming language, which means that everything we work with will be an object. Numbers are objects, functions are objects, and so on. In this video, we're going to create some objects and then do a bit of basic math on those objects. So let's start by creating some objects. I'm going to open up a new script by clicking on this button here. And I'll select R script, which opens up a new pane with a blank R script for me to work with. I want to create an object called X. So I'm going to start by typing in X, and then I need to assign X some value. And the way that you do that in R is with an assignment operator. And that assignment operator is actually two characters. It's a less than symbol and then a hyphen. Together these two characters make something that looks a bit like an arrow. And whatever is to the right of this assignment operator will be stored in the object called X. So let's store the number one in X. If I want to execute this line of code, I'm going to press Control Enter on Windows or Linux, and it would be Command Enter on Mac. Okay, now I have an object called x that has the value 1. Say I want to create another object, y, and I'll store the number 5 in that object. I'll press Control or Command Enter, and now I have two objects, x and y, that take on the values 1 and 5. You can see that here in this environment pane, where it lists all the objects that you have and what their values are. Okay, so now let's do a bit of math with these two objects. If we want to add them together, I'm just going to type in x plus y. If I execute this line, notice that it prints the output down to the console here. So we have the result 6, which is 1 plus 5. That's great. But also we don't have any new objects here in our environment that take on the value 6. And that's because we didn't store this result. If I wanted to store the result of x plus y, I'd have to create a new object. So let's do that. I'll call it z, and I'll say z gets, I'm going to read this assignment operator as gets, z gets x plus y. If I execute that, then notice that we do have another object z here that has the value 6, and it doesn't print the number 6 to the console, but it does show that we've actually executed this line. All right, other mathematical operations that you can do in R that are pretty simple include subtraction, which is just x minus y. If I wanted to multiply x and y together, I would use an asterisk. So it would be x times y. Division, you do just with a slash, so x slash y. And if I wanted to raise x to the yth power, you can use a caret for exponentiation. So x to the yth power, which is just 1 to the 5, which gives me 1. 